Hi, uh, this is the discussion for problem 3 of uh, the problem set 1 of AAA 23 this semester. Uh, before we start, I just want to plug, uh, due to the situation right now that we're having, uh, our organization, uh, UP Kaisa, or Kalipunan ng Mga Anak ng Isabela, uh, are looking for donations for our hospitals back in Isabela. So, uh, we need money to procure uh, PPEs, uh, alcohol, sanitizers, gloves, so our hospitals can function better with uh, minimizing the transmission from the patients to, towards our frontliners there. So if you can donate, if you have the capacity to, to donate, uh, please donate to these people here at what you see on the screen right now. I hope it's large enough. Maybe I can... Make it full screen. Okay, there you go. Uh, oh, there you go. Wait a second. There you go. So, if you have the capacity to donate, please donate. All right. And if you want to drop off, we have an address provided for you. If you have any questions, I can contact Miss Attorney Pam. Okay, and this is her number. Right, and thank you very much. And let's start our discussion. Okay. Right. So for problem three, we are given uh, an ele uh, electric flux density, my electric flux density function, in uh, uh, coulombs per square meter. All of these are in the units of coulombs per square meter. And uh, the first task is to solve for the charge distribution everywhere. What is rho v? The charge distribution everywhere to solve for this quite simply you'll just uh, solve for the divergence of your electric flux density and since the electric flux density is only a function of r then the divergence of d is solved using this formula So this is the formula for the divergence and using this for 0 is less than or equal to r, 4 meters. We're solving for the divergence or sorry, we're solving for the derivative of the flux density of r squared times r a r hat, right, the r component of your electric flux density. Okay, and upon solving this, you'll get that the divergence is equal to 3. Next is in the range 4 to 8, right? So from the range 4 to 8, uh, the divergence can be solved. Still the same formula, different, different expressions. You plug that in. And there we go. And solve, solving uh, this function or solving this uh, derivative here, you'll get the uh, solution or the expression for the charge density. And finally, for the region R greater than 8, since uh, the, the electric flux density is 0, then it follows that the, diver the divergence of that is also 0. Okay. You're not enclosing anything even in a very small point. Remember that the definition of divergence is you're trying to enclose okay, a certain point in space using a box that you uh, that you make it very small. Okay. You, you imagine a surface, uh, a box rather. Okay, So you imagine a box that you're trying to make it very small and you're squeezing the point at the middle of the box. And if that point has no charge in it, then there's no flux, net flux in that box. Right? So to summarize, your uh, charge density is given by this formula.
And this is the answer for letter A of number 3. Okay. Next, for B, determine the total charge enclosed by the region R is equal to 6 meters. So, first step is to visualize it. So, let me first draw the, draw the distribution. So, in the distribution, we have two regions. Three, rather. But the other one, there's no charge density. So, I'm going to draw it like this. So, the first region is here. This is a part of that region. The second region is this one. And at r is equal to 6, r is equal to 6 is right here. It's this region. So this r is equal to 6 uh, encloses a part of the second region and fully encloses the first region, as you can see here. So if you're going to look at it from the front view, from the front, uh, it's going to look like this. This is your region inside. This is the region outside, and the surface is between the borders. Right? So this R is equal to 6 encloses this, uh, the R is equal to 6 encloses this uh, whole charge density inside and part of the charge density outside. So to solve for the total, total charge, do note that uh, our surface is a sphere. So if we want to get the total charge inside, we're getting the volumetric integral of rho v. And note that for a sphere, since r is equal to 6 is a sphere, the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Okay. And to, if you get the differential of V with respect to R, you'll get 4 pi R squared dr. Therefore, the total charge enclosed is the integral of 4 pi R squared rho V times dr. And you integrate this R from 0 to 6. Okay. So with that, we have two regions for rho V here. The first region. As you integrate from 0 to 4, uh, rho v is equal to 3, right here. So 3 times r squared dr plus uh, 4 pi times the integral from 4 to 6 of the second region, r minus 12 plus 32 over r times r squared dr. And you can now use your calculator to solve for the integral. Since this is just a definite integral, you can plug that in your calculator and you'll get an accurate result. So the enclosed charge is equal to 144 pi coulombs. And this is your answer. Okay. So now we want, for letter C, we want to verify the answer Q enclosed. Want to verify that answer by solving for the total flux across that surface. It's the same surface, but now we want to solve for the total flux of the closed surface. So that's why this integral has a circle. Uh, so that circle denotes closed surface. Okay? And since our surface is just a sphere, then that surface, oops, that surface is defined by r squared sine theta d theta dp. Right. So this is now your differential surface. And at r is equal to 6, the, the electric flux function is defined by this, 0 0.25 times r minus 8. Right. So ds is equal to that, psi e, which, is, which denotes the total flux, is basically the double integral of uh, one fourth, oops, one fourth times r minus eight squared times r squared sine theta d theta d phi, where theta is evaluated from zero to pi, and phi is evaluated from zero to two pi, mainly because they define the whole sphere, 
0 to pi, and 0 to 2 pi defines the whole sphere. Therefore, uh, this is the setup of the integral. You substitute, oops, substitute r is equal to 6, since we're talking about a surface with a radius of 6 meters, so you substitute r is equal to 6. Right? And you plug that in the calculator. Actually, it's quite simple from here. If you plug that in, this r here is not a function of theta and phi. Then you just substitute that. Then you integrate your uh, sine theta, d theta, d phi. Right? A rule of thumb, if you have this integral here, it already simplifies to 4 pi. Right? And once you got that, you will get psi e equal to 144 pi coulombs. Just a note, a lot of you made this mistake. The unit for her electric flux is coulombs. What you indicated was Weber, which is a unit for magnetic flux, coincidentally also the unit for magnetic charge. And magnetic charge does not exist. It's just mathematical convention that we name a unit for magnetic charge. But actually, Weber is the unit for the magnetic flux. Okay, so just to clarify that. And there you go. As you can see, this expression here okay, satisfies Gauss law and the divergence theorem. So if you have any questions or comments, do not hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section below. And uh, before we end this uh, session, uh, please, oops, where is it? It disappeared. Oh, sorry. Nope, nope. I should not see that. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> we have a call for donations from our uh, organization. Okay. Uh, these are the contact numbers and the account numbers for the cash donations. If you have in-kind donations, you can uh, forward them to the drop-off point indicated here and if you have any questions about them you can contact attorney pam and uh that's it for this session thank you very much if you have any questions not hesitate to post a comment in the comment section below thank you for listening see you next meeting